there's a certain irony about scrapbooks because their very function is to preserve the memories and special events and activities and achievements of a particular person. And yet the very nature of scrapbooks is that they are in fact ephemeral. They're made of paper and they're full of material that is often not meant to survive. So it's particularly special that an object like this has survived for as long as it has. Carolyn Chisholm is a well-known figure in Australian and British history. Caroline was born in 1808 and made her first visit to Australia in 1838. She spent about 20 years of her life strongly in the public sphere and she is considered a social reformer and a philanthropist whose passion in life was to promote emigration to Australia. Her particular passions were looking after single women, single young women who were coming to the colonies without support, without finances and without protection and who were often left destitute by the time they had arrived. She was also very active in trying to promote the emigration of families. The scrapbook is over a hundred years old and most of the material that's in the scrapbook is around 150 years old. The museum is very fortunate because the scrapbook we think was handed down during generations of the Chisholm family until it turned up at an auction in Tasmania in 1970 where it was purchased by a Chisholm historian. And then that family very kindly donated the scrapbook to the museum's collection in 2000. This particular page is interesting because it contains a list of missing friends and I like to think of this as one of the really early attempts at a family reunion scheme for immigration and that was something that Carolyn herself endeavoured to achieve. She was very passionate about reuniting families. So Carolyn received a lot of letters and correspondence from people who would let her know about their missing relatives. This page contains a wonderful poster promoting a lecture that Mrs Chisholm, as she's referred to here, was giving on female emigration. And this is just an example of the numerous lectures and public appearances that she was making throughout the United Kingdom to promote emigration to Australia. And this one is particularly about promoting uh, the emigration of women. Because around the mid 19th century in Australia, and Port Phillip in particular, there were many, many more men than there were women. The shelter sheds were another project of Carolyn Chisholm which commenced in 1855. Numerous people who were on roads to gold diggings were often just sleeping on the roadsides. So Carolyn Chisholm was able to come up with a system whereby a series of shelter sheds were built between Melbourne and Castlemaine. And the idea was that these uh, shelter sheds would be built within one day walking distances along the road to the gold diggings. These were quite substantial buildings which provided very basic sleeping accommodation but also cooking facilities and people could actually purchase tickets for overnight stays at these shelter sheds either before they left England or once they arrived in Melbourne. So, a really important advancement that she made here, which again showed how she really considered the conditions that people were living in once they actually arrived in the colonies. Whereas before, a lot of emigration really only focused on getting people here and really not too worried about what happened to them once they got here. This page contains a number of small cards which are publicising where she'd been invited to address a meeting. One of particular interest here is a meeting of the Jews in General Literary and Scientific Institution. One of the really interesting things about Carolyn is that it would appear that she really had no religious prejudices at that time and some of the Jewish leaders in London were extremely supportive of all of her endeavours and she organised Jewish families to come out to Port Phillip as well as people of a Protestant and Catholic background. Whereas one of her major critics at the time, a Dr John Lang, who was also a great exponent of immigration to Australia, 
He was really only interested in bringing out Protestant immigrants and in fact a lot of his critique of Carolyn was as much about her own Catholic faith as anything else. On this page there are some very small nondescript looking items but they are rather interesting because they are a variety of invitations that Carolyn Chisholm received to various soirees and quite high-ranking official functions and it shows where she was also doing a lot of her fundraising for her projects. So there are invitations to events with mayors and governments and even royalty both in the UK and in Australia. And finally on this page there is a document which lists a large number of people who were recipients of Caroline Chisholm's loan fund. It's probably the, the achievement that Caroline Chisholm is best known for, the setting up of the Family Colonisation Loan Society, which was established around 1849. And the purpose of this fund was to assist people, and particularly families, to emigrate to Australia. She was very keen on keeping families together. And she was also keen on bringing out groups of families you might get 13 families in one group who could provide a support network for one another. And then the idea was that when after people had arrived in Australia and established themselves that they would actually pay back the, the funds that they had loaned. Unfortunately, Carolyn Chisholm was quite idealistic in that sense and it would appear that a lot of people did not in fact pay back their loans, which really did stretch the uh, society significantly. So it's a rather lovely personal insight to see these lists of real people, the ships that they came out on, and these were ships that were chartered by Carolyn Chisholm's Colonisation Society, which then operated under the kind of shipboard conditions that she was so keen on providing. This is just a sample of some of the very special and rare material that is contained in this wonderful scrapbook. It's a book that we consider to be of vital importance to any researcher who wants to look into the details of Carolyn Chisholm into 19th century immigration history to Australia, to the processes of that immigration, to the ships that were coming, and even the details of some of the people that came who are featured in these lists. For a woman who was so modest and so understated, who refused payment for any of her work and in fact in 1877 passed away in poverty. There were only passing references to her, her dying in England and even fewer references in Australia. So this scrapbook really helps to fill the gaps and complete the picture of an extraordinary life of a 19th century Victorian era woman.